When I think of a food community, I think of my high school swimming team. Although we were a community in many ways, food played a part in bringing us closer together. My high school swim team spent pretty much every waking minute together in the fall season, during school, at practice, and doing homework. But never was there much downtime to really get to know each other, to bond, and learn each other's personalities, except for our pasta parties. A pasta party took place the night before every meet at a different member's house each time. Whoever was hosting was in charge of making enough food for 30 hungry girls coming straight from a three-hour practice. The original idea behind pasta parties is to carbo-load the night before meet so you have the proper energy to perform your best the next day. But instead, they turned into bonding sessions, something much more significant. Behind the large amounts of Italian food, a team was brought much closer and became more of a family. Without this time together, I do not believe we could have become this kind of family we had created. The food that brought us together to feed our appetite also brought us much closer to each other. It was the one time where all of us were not running around trying to fit all the things we had to do into our already packed schedule. Even though we practiced every day together for three hours, that was a different kind of time. We were focused and listening to what we had to do, trudging through the most painful and tiring sets in the water. Coming up in between sets at the wall, only to exchange a few words and catch our breath before we dove back in for more. So keeping that in mind, our pasta parties were precious to us. We talked about each other's days and countless inside jokes had been created around those dinners. We as a team looked forward to these dinners so we could again meet and share in good food with good people. I remember specifically a girl one year older than me always made this type of cookie bar for a dessert that everyone loved. Now this may be a little out there, but we referred to it as crack because it was so delicious that whenever she brought it out, it was devoured in no more than 30 seconds. In my case, food provided us with a purpose and a place where we could bond and grow closer. So in this case, it might not solely be a food community, but food took a huge role in forming our community. Without our pasta parties, we would not have been nearly as close. So as far as for our swim team, food played an important role in our bonding.